Hey Gearheads, Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at the airport. Uh, you can see the aircraft in the background. We did this on purpose. It's not where we usually film our reviews, but we wanted to highlight the company we're, we're talking to today. Gail's here from Oregon Aero. And, uh, you know, they're very well known in the industry for producing seats for aircraft. They produce a wide variety of other things for a variety of different markets, one of which is military vehicles. So we have the Project Battle Wagon Humvee here. This is uh, Gear Report's latest project we're undertaking. And uh, this is going to be a platform for a variety of different product tests and reviews. The first one we're looking at are the Humvee seats from Oregon Aero. We got these a few days ago, had a chance to put them in. I gotta tell you, I, I was a little nervous because um, I mean, that this looks kind of complex, that, that it may take a little time and effort to change them over. And I took my time, and I think both of the front seats took 10 minutes at the most. And I think it took, it took that long because I was stopping to take pictures along the way. They're very simple to install, and uh, we've got a number of benefits that come with using a seat like this. Uh, first and foremost, they're more comfortable. I don't know a ton about the engineering that goes into them, but I know that... Um, Oregon Aero has been using a combination of different types of foam, memory foams, and other densities of foams to make uh, rather comfortable aircraft seats for quite a while. You know, I neglected to bring the other seats with me, but uh, the driver's seat was about this tall, and it had practically no padding in it. So now you can see this is a, a much higher seat with a, um, a convex shape to it to give you a little bit of lateral support. And the memory foam is heat sensitive, so uh, the longer you sit in it, you know, you, you get it heated up to a point that it kind of conforms to your shape a bit better. So as we move to the seat back, we have uh, something similar where we have a lumbar support that's just not there in the original military seats. And then um, we also have some buildup on the sides to give some lateral support as well. Uh, really important, the basic seats that come in these Humvees give you very poor support, just generally speaking, um, not very good lumbar support, which is important to orient the base of your spine correctly in case there are any kind of uh, sudden stops, accidents, you know, these things happen. Um, having the, the base of your spine oriented correctly really reduces the chance of injury. So that's very important to have that lumbar support um, and, and all of those things, you know, not to mention the, the increased comfort. So installation was very simple. Um, you know, I'll, I'll post a full uh, pictorial of step-by-step -step going through the installation process, but suffice it to say, there's a pin on each side that these grommets go over. So there's four grommets with a pin through them and then velcro at the front that's it for the seat base and for the seat back the driver's seat is just that simple you can swap this out from the original seat pad in you know a minute and a half if you're slow the other seat's a little bit more involved because it has some velcro that has to be uh, attached to the bottom and uh and i'll tell you i did it the hard way i followed the directions and i measured everything out and marked it to line the velcro up and then thought, wait a second, it's already oriented right on the seat base. I could have just <laughs> peeled the back off and set it on. So depending on how detail oriented you want to be, that can be a real quick install as well. So I, I wanted to say thanks for coming on board with our project here um, and giving us a chance to get out in the field and try these and share with people because um, you know, a lot of people don't know you can buy these now. The government didn't sell military Humvees uh, for decades. They, they just wouldn't. They released a small batch, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And if you didn't get one of those, you were out of luck. So they've started auctioning them. You can go to ironplanet.com and follow the auctions and then get in and bid if you want one. When you get it, the seats are going to suck. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> um, go check out Oregon Arrow. So you can find them at OregonArrow.com. Is that the preferred way for yes. people to purchase? Yes. Okay, so you go get them direct. Or you can call our customer service number at 800-888-6910. told Gail she wasn't going to have to talk, but I tricked her into <laughs> it, so I apologize for that. Go check them out. Plan on a little over $300 for the for the base, for the back. For each, each piece, you can get them for the front and the back, so you can price that out if you just want a driver's seat, you know. If you just want the seat base, if you want to do the base and the back, you can piecemeal it if you like. These are in a, a camo. 
Uh, typically, if you look on the website, you'll see the, the standard olive drab green color that, that you see on most military items. But uh, the other interesting thing that I wanted to point out, something that we're working on that we didn't get done in time for this because I sprung it on them last minute, but I'm 6'4". I don't really fit in this well and could use a little bit more leg room. So a really cool thing about going to a specialty shop like Oregon Arrow is they can customize and uh, we're working on uh, the potential to, to change a bit of the design here to give a little bit more leg room for taller folks as well. So whether you're taller, bigger, shorter, whatever it is you need, Oregon Air is a custom shop that can accommodate that for you. So um, And the upholstery, we can customize that any way you like. Custom upholstery. Also. Yep. You can get whatever you like here. So check it out. We'll have a full written review of, uh, of the seats as well as the insulation process as well as links to Oregon Aero so you can, so you can uh, go purchase if you like them. Um, that's it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check us out on Facebook, and then go to the website gearreport.com. We'll be back with more later.